Assalamu alaikum and hello what's up guys this is imad and today's video is about iOS 14.2 beta 3 so guys apple released iOS 14.2 developer beta 3 last night and public beta 3 was released today so if you haven't updated yet you can get the OTA update in settings and then you have to go to general and go to software update to update your software to the latest iOS 14.2 version as I have updated you can see here. So in this video we are going to be talking about what's new and how the performance has improved and which bugs are fixed so far. So make sure if you are new to the channel then you hit the subscribe button and help me reach 10k subscribers and hit the thumbs up button if you turn out to like the video and don't forget to comment down below with your opinion as it matters a lot. So without any further delay let's dig in and start the video. So first of all let's look at the build number of iOS 14.2 developer beta 3. It's 18B5072F. So this time we have gotten an F at the end. Last time we had an E at the end. So I think it means that we are not getting the official release anytime soon. So I am expecting the official release to be out in November or mid-November. So make sure you stay subscribed to the channel as I will be updating here about it with every update. So guys the update side of iOS 14.2 developer beta 3 was around 600 MBs for my iPhone X and I updated it from iOS 14.2 developer beta 2. So keep in mind that the update size matters a lot depending on your iOS device and the version you were upgrading from. So I updated from iOS 14.2 developer beta 2 so the update size for me was around 500 to 600 megabytes. So after that guys if you look at the changes then I haven't noticed anything new so far in iOS 14.2 developer and public beta 3 but there might be some small changes that we haven't noticed so far but surely a bug has been fixed in WhatsApp. If you were facing a bug in WhatsApp which wouldn't let you play videos it is fixed now in iOS 14.2 developer beta 3. I have tested it myself and now WhatsApp is working perfectly. And another bug that I faced in iOS 14.2 developer beta 2 was that my WhatsApp kept crashing whenever I tried to click a picture in the chat and tried sending it to the contact. But this time it's working perfectly in iOS 14.2 developer beta 3. So one of my subscribers contacted the WhatsApp team and they said WhatsApp doesn't support beta updates so you'll have to downgrade to iOS official release like iOS 14.0.1 but this issue is fixed in this beta so that's a good sign and a lot of users were also facing many other bugs that have been fixed in iOS 14.2 developer beta 3 and the performance is good so far and the battery life is also looking good so far let me see here in the battery section so here it is as you can see I have gotten 6 hours and 44 minutes of screen on time and 25 minutes of screen off time which is good so far and it is working good so far decent performance so far the speed is good and no doubt Apple is improving the performance with every beta and watchOS 7.0.1 was also released and Apple said that they fixed the battery drain in that update so I am expecting that Apple has also fixed the battery drain in this update. So guys if you find this video useful then don't forget to hit the thumbs up button and also comment down below on which device are you running this beta on and don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications to stay updated on the upcoming updates of iOS 14. So until next time this is iMat. Peace out.